Come here, Abby. Come here, Shayna. Come here. Come here. Come here, Ab. Okay, today's video is on SM. And uh, though that little demonstration was what SM is looking like at our house right now. Shayna is on three legs with a hind leg that she's holding up. And Abby's on three legs with a front leg that she's limping on. SM has been a big problem in our household recently because the humidity has been horrible <clears throat> and the weather changes have been really bad. And so the pressure changes with the weather as it increases and decreases can really cause problems for these little dogs that have the SM and the CM. Our little guy George has spent the last few weeks just tearing himself up. Um, chewing on his back end, knotting his hair into horrible knots, and I have to keep brushing them out and clipping them out. And it's causing baldness on the back end of the dog and also some um, uh, rawness on the skin. Little Pookie's doing the same thing with her hind end. And uh, so it's been pretty miserable. And I know a lot of my Cavalier friends have dogs with uh, similar problems. And a lot of people are calling me or messaging me and saying, oh, my dog is really suffering from allergies. He's scratching horribly. It's been a, you know, really bad allergy season. Well, we're in the middle of the heat of summer. It really isn't even allergy season. Allergy season really is more um, spring and fall and not so much in the dead of winter and in the summer. So, I think that a lot of these Cavaliers that people are calling me about are actually suffering with an increase in their SM symptoms, not allergy problems. So what are we doing about it at our house? Well, all of our dogs are already taking gabapentin. I haven't tried Lyrica on them. They seem to respond really well to the gabapentin, but Lyrica, which is pregabalin, would be another option. Um, I use Omeprazole for most of our guys, and uh, the other option to that would be cimetidine, and, uh, which is Tagamet. And um, different dogs have different results with the different drugs, so if one doesn't work, then talk to your veterinarian about trying a different one. Uh, we also use Doralactin, which is a natural anti-inflammatory for our dogs. We find that that helps with joint disease, the SM, and it also can help with um, inflammatory bowel disease. I have resorted recently to using a product called Temeral P. Temeral P is a combination product, and I actually like it because it has a very, very low dose of prednisone in it, and it has an antihistamine in it. And the antihistamine dose is low enough that it will decrease any inflammatory reaction that we're having, but it doesn't seem to really make them sleepy. I don't go full label dose on the drug. I use it at a lower dose, which is kind of my tendency with any medications that I use. Uh, for dogs who are really painful, like Shana right now on her three legs holding up that hind leg, originally I thought she had blown out an ACL when she first started doing this, um, but we later found it wasn't actually her ACL. Her knee is fine. It's uh, coming from her spine and she's so painful that she just holds the leg up. So I will resort to tramadol when she's having a really bad day or we can up our gabapentin instead of giving two times a day we can go to three times a day or we have room to increase the dose. I also use a draining diet for these guys because if you remember the syringomyelia which is also called SM is actually caused by a fluid buildup in something called a syrinx, which is a little pocket in the spinal cord. And so if we can feed a draining food that will decrease the fluid buildup, it can make these guys more comfortable. Dogs that go to surgery sometimes will actually have a little shunt put in to help drain that fluid. Um, I'm really trying to avoid surgery for our dogs. I really just don't want to do it. Plus, it would be cost prohibitive for us to have to put six dogs through surgery, and every one of our dogs has this dreaded disease, so um, it's a big problem. So uh, by using draining foods, we can help decrease the fluid production and help drain it off of there. Things that are draining would include things like turnips and celery and radishes. Some dogs will just eat those. You can also cook them into uh, their food. Um, chi tonics are good to help move the fluid, so chi tonics are usually meats uh, beef and rabbit. Rabbit is a really, really good chi tonic. It's also cooling. 
Um, our dog Charlie, who's old, when he has an episode, he screams and howls. The top of his head and neck get just oven hot. I mean, you touch him and the heat coming off of him is just unbelievable. So a really nice cooling diet like the rabbit would be a really good choice because it's a good tea tonic and it's cooling. Um, so there are a lot of other products on the market, a lot of experimental things. A lot of people are using cannabis for these dogs and uh, we're actually going to start using, there's a new product coming out that's going to be made by RX Vitamins. I don't know if I'm supposed to let the cat out of the bag, but um, hopefully that is going to be very helpful for these guys. So I'm waiting for that. There's also a product called Canapet. Uh, there's a few other products on the market. So some people are having good luck with it and other people say it doesn't really help. There's another product called Pea Pure. Uh, some people say that glucosamine chondroitin or MSM can help. And some people will use a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory like Rimadyl, Medicam, Deramax, Prevacox. I don't like those drugs, too many side effects, and you absolutely cannot use those in combination or within a week of using steroids, so make sure that you don't mix the two. Um, this is a dreaded disease. If you have breeding dogs with this disease, please remove them from the breeding program. If you're a responsible breeder, hopefully you're getting... MRIs done on your breeding stock to know whether they are a carrier of this disease and take them out of the breeding program because it is a, a really tragic disease for, for this breed that I love so much. So for those of you with dogs that are scratching more, howling more, limping, walking around on three legs, talk to your veterinarian. If they're not familiar with the disease, disease get them some information. CavalierHealth.org has tons and tons of articles and the latest information on studies that are being done. Claire Rusbridge, who's a veterinarian in the UK, uh, specializes in this and has tons of good information and some books out. There's more information on the SM chapter in my book, From Needles to Natural. Please take care of your babies, hug them, give them extra snuggles, and uh, try to keep them as pain-free as possible. Good luck with your pets.